Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin. Today is not out of review. It's a quick update on an ongoing problem I had with my EcoFlow smart home panel. Did a whole video on the behavior I was having where essentially the, the Delta Pros were throwing discharge errors over and over throughout the day, probably 50, 60 times a day. Uh, and it would cause the whole house, the lights to go off and back on um, because it was a longer disruption than a normal switch from battery to grid because it, it switched from battery to grid then grid back to battery so it was like a double double whammy and it was playing all kinds of havoc with my household appliances and electronics so it was a really not a good situation what I had to do was for a period of time I limped along with just one Delta Pro connected to the smart home panel and it seemed to work fine with one Delta Pro but if you connected the two it would, it would start throwing that problem uh, very frequently particularly late in the evening or when both batteries were near 100%. <clears throat> so I had been going back and forth with EcoFlow support who, um, again, shout out to Julie and support. She was very patient and helpful with me, even though this was becoming a very frustrating problem. It did take a while, took a couple months going back and forth, and then it took a couple months after that to get a resolution to the problem. But I really appreciated their support and I, you know, they did a great job of standing by their product, which is why I do recommend EcoFlow because compared to all the other players out there, EcoFlow does stand by their product. Now, it may not be as fast as you would like it to be, you know, and obviously it is a huge inconvenience whenever you have to deal with something that's down and you depend on it. That's not good, but at least they are standing by their product and they have done that here and I want to call them out for that. So what was the solution to the problem? This. Ultimately, it was replacing the, the, the smart home panel with the smart home panel too. So um, just I can't go through all the different things that we tried trying to get the original smart home panel to work. Um, we did several firmware updates together. They did special firmware updates just to my unit um, they tried to get it working uh, with their advanced tech team bottom line is we were not successful um, and so the the solution was they shipped me this replacement smart home panel I did have to wait to engage an electrician to get it all done because I'm not qualified to do this um, but we got it all hooked up it's been in place now for a little bit and it has been working successfully I've got both my Delta pros connected to it not a problem, not seeing that trip off error that was happening all the time with the old panel. So this has worked really, really well. Now I will do a full review of the Smart Home Panel 2. There's a lot of differences between the one and uh, I don't I think I wanna cover all that here in this update video, but I will definitely be doing a dedicated video on the Smart Home Panel 2. So good news is that for me, it's resolved. Now, what are, what's going to happen next? Well, now I'm going to ship that original smart home panel back to EcoFlow where they're going to be running some diagnostics on it to try to figure out why this is happening because they don't know why. They weren't able to tell remotely, even with the updates and things that they were pushed to the Delta Pros and the panel. Um, so they're really kind of keen to get this panel back uh, so they can do some diagnostics, diagnostics on it. Um, and I'd be very interested as well in what they find because I don't think it's the behavior for everyone. I have heard, you know, some of you chimed in saying you were experiencing it, but most people didn't seem to have that same experience. So I do think this is not common or prevalent and certainly the EcoFlow didn't treat it like it was common or prevalent. So I think they're very keen to understand better what's going on. Um, but for now, this solution has worked really well and thankfully my house as battery <laughs> uh, power supply is stable once again. And I'm, well, the whole house is actually very thankful for that because it was pretty annoying. Here is the original panel that I will be shipping back to EcoFlow, uh, hopefully today actually, um, or at least soon. And you can see it, I mean, it's in great condition. There's nothing wrong physically with it. It's just that it would have this issue. So um, we're gonna get it to them and see if they can't figure out what was going on. Okay, I think that'll wrap up this video. It's very short. I did just want to record something real quick and let you know what the solution was so far. Um, I think there's still another chapter to be written in the saga <laughs> as far as what was actually going on with the original panel. But for my house, things are working good with the smart home panel too. 
and I will be following up with a video on the differences between the, the uh, two versus the one and things that I like better and vice versa, whatever. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.